for you. Next up in the middleweight division, Mahmoud Salama against Ong La Ng Son. My ultimate goal in 1FC is to become the 1FC champion. Stylistically, I think I match up real well with Mahmoud. It's going to be an exciting fight. But the main thing is I'm ahead of him in every aspect of MMA. Angan, I know that he's good. And he plays with his left hand. أنا الفترة اللي فاتت كنت بعدله كويس جدا وجهزه وإن شاء الله اتمرنت الفترة اللي فاتت جامد جدا وأنا جهزه قوي وأقعد To be on, you're gonna need a lot of luck. That's it. You can't outwork me. You can't. You can't work harder than me. There's no way. وصلت نفسي كويس جدا. وبتمرن جامد قوي قوي وان شاء الله اوقع عند اضيع. The motivation for this fight is to put Memo on the map, to put my people on the map, and I'm willing to put my life for it. I'm willing to die in the cage to win this fight. My match with Mahmoud Salama is going to be an awesome fight. It's going to be a great fight. You don't want to miss this fight. And I guarantee you this is going to be the beginning of my 1FC legacy. ماتش مع أنغ هيكون ماتشات الجامدة جدا اللي هتلعب جمهور الوان إم سي نصيحة مني ليك يا أنغ فكر قبل ما تلاعب محمود سلام محمود you have never faced a fighter like me I'm gonna be your worst nightmare weighed in at a very similar weight, his opponent, Ang La Sun, is coming up from welterweight, that's 170. So here they are, meeting a middleweight, 185. This man is a an Egyptian kickboxing champion. Never been the distance, Jason. hours you get to rehydrate and eat after the weighing you think would impact Salama's body far more than than arms we'll see he does look strong he does look big
born and raised in Myanmar. He moved to the United States as a teenager, but very, very proud of his Burmese heritage. This matchup was actually slated for 1FC Rise of Heroes, but moved to tonight because Arm couldn't get his visa sorted out in time. That's all sorted out now. He'll have been waiting for this opportunity for a long time, making his 1FC debut, as is his opponent. He has a 14-9-0-1 record in mixed martial arts. submission wins and five KO or TKO wins and we said before that Salama hasn't been the distance. We could be in for an explosion here. The Burmese Python. How about that? He does look a strong boy, doesn't he? is Egypt against Myanmar. Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight is three rounds of five minutes in the 1FC middleweight division. And this fight is brought to you by Naga World, the best business, leisure, and entertainment destination in Cambodia. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, this man is a kickboxer, standing at 189 centimeters tall, weighing in at 83.4 kilograms with a professional record of four wins and four losses. Fighting out of Egyptian top team, he is the Egyptian kickboxing champion, Mahmoud Ironman Salamo! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, standing at 185 centimeters tall, weighing in at 83.3 kilograms, with a professional record of 14 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. Fighting out of Crazy 88 MMA from Myanmar, presenting the Burmese MMA champion, Angla, the Burmese Python, and so And when the action begins, your referee in charge of this battle, Olivier Cost. That's Maya Ningrum. That's Mahmoud Salama. And that's Ang La Nsan. This fight brought to you by Naga World, the best business, leisure, and integrated resort in Cambodia. The Salama's four wins have all come in the first round, all bang knockout. I don't think you, you have to look at him too long to know that this guy hits hard. Just look at the difference in biceps, too. Big boys, dude. Fights with the right hand. Oh, oh good right hand, hand from Oh, Dad, I was just gonna say that was like lightning right down the 12 o'clock express. That was as Salama was coming forward as well. I'm not sure if um oh nice takedown take and down. a good reversal. Jason immediately scribbles on his scorecard. He'll be updating us on how he thinks the fight might be going. Just indicative. Three judges at cage side scoring the fight as a whole, not round by round, as per one FC rule. You see, Song working the butterfly, nice sweep, right in the mount, and busy with the right hand, and oh, Salam is in trouble, out. it's over, what an impressive start, whoa, that reversal started it for him, and then the ground and pound came in, winning his
his 1FC debut and improving his MMA record to 15 and 9. What a great start for this Myanmar fighter. Had his uh, initial contest postponed because of those visa problems, had to wait long and hard for this, and now he's done it. And that's a really big boost for mixed martial arts in his home country. How long will it be before we see a 1FC event in Myanmar? Well, when we do, surely this man will be front and center. Yeah, it was a beautiful butterfly sweep. And right into mount. Just a couple of nice short punches right on the button. That was all she wrote. Spectacular finish for the young man. Son. Well, he will have delighted his home, his fans back home in Myanmar. What a boost that is for the country and the sport there. Fighting in Asia for the first time. And I don't think it'll be long before he fights at home. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Olivier Cost calls a hold this battle. At 3 minutes 54 seconds remaining in round number one, for your winner, via knockout, from the red corner, Angla, the Burmese Python, and so Posing with Milaji, with the 1FC gong around his neck, goes over to pay his respects to his defeated opponent, Mahmoud Salama. His record drops to four and five. On with Jason Chambers. All right, I'm here with our winner. Now, you said that you wanted to come in here and really make a statement. You said it was important for you to put Myanmar on the map. Do you feel like you've accomplished that tonight? Um, I think so. What do you guys think? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you. Now, talk to us a little bit about this being your first fight up a weight class. What made you decide to come up a weight? Um, it was just hard. I was cutting like 28 pounds, 26 pounds, and uh, just too hard. I'm flying to Asia with a different time zone. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to make 170. Well, it looks like this could be your new home. It was a great fight. Let's talk us through the end of the fight. You had a great sweep. You moved into mount. I, I was surprised he took me down, but somehow we ended on the ground. Uh, I was trying to sweep him there, and then he reversed me, and I was working for my butterfly there. Um, I heard my corner, Devin, yelling uh, butterfly sweep, and uh, that's one of my moves. And then when I got to the mount, I stabilized, and uh, we've been working on the ground and pound. So, and I got heavy hands. Yeah, I can see that here. Some nice shots landed right on the chin. That was a great, great knockout. So what's next for you here in 1FC? Um, I just want to thank God for us. I'm sorry, I gotta thank God first. Without him, this wouldn't be possible. Uh, anything, Victor, uh, anything you give me, I'll fight. Uh, anyone you give me, I'll fight. Um, I also like to uh, give a shout out to Crazy ED. I know you guys are watching. I'm gonna be home soon, all right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, big hand for your winner, Unla Unsung.